This is a uh, recreation of what plague doctors wore in the 1600s. It was their biocontainment suit. At the time, doctors thought plague, like most diseases, was something in the air, if you will, a bad smell. Today, we know that typically you don't get diseases from bad smells. Instead, you get them from bad water, uh, bug bites, flea bites, for example. But it took us a long time to figure that out. In fact, uh, people did not discover that you caught plague from flea bites until about 1900. So the doctor, back in 1600, had this idea that you caught plague from something in the air. So that's why there was a beak on the mask. And the doctor put perfumes and spices in the beak. The idea is to try to purify whatever was in the air. They didn't know what it was, <laughs> but they hoped whatever it was, the perfumes and spices would uh, protect the doctor. And by the way, cologne was invented for the same reason. Cologne, you know, the stuff that people splash on their faces. Uh, it was invented during times of plague with the idea of protecting from the infection. The fabric of the outfit was a special Italian fabric that was coated in wax. And the idea is that uh, doctors had observed that plagues seemed to go along with fabric and fur. Now today we know because probably there were infectious fleas in the fur and in the fabric. They didn't know about fleas. Uh, so they guessed maybe there were plague particles in the air that got caught in rough surfaces. So the surface of the uh, fabric was very slick with the wax coating. Again, uh, a kind of a biocontainment suit. Doctors also carried a stick and my best guess is the stick was mostly to keep people from getting too close because uh, doctors knew that if their patients were coughing and sneezing, uh, it was very dangerous to be too close to them. So my guess is they used the stick to keep patients from getting too close. I don't know if this costume really protected doctors that well. I, I doubt that many of them were able to afford it because it must have been very, very expensive. There was one doctor uh, who wrote that the costume did nothing except to keep the fleas off. And there's some irony because when the doctor said that, he had no idea that fleas were how you caught plague. So perhaps it kept the fleas off. 